Hi students, today we're going to be learning how to create this festive Fala Lama. We're going to use supplies from the art kit that you were provided at the beginning of the trimester. Those supplies are your Saks watercolor pad. So you're just going to need one piece of paper from here. Your crayons that were included, we're going to be doing a crayon resist. You also got these nice praying um, oval watercolor paints and there's already a brush included. So you will just need an additional little dish of water to activate these paints. A pencil. Your fine point Sharpie that was included in your kit. And if you have one of these larger gum erasers, that would be very helpful also. All right, now we're all connected. So this is what we are going to be making today. So we have our holiday llama. We have some patterns here and they have some winter clothing on and I also have made a background so you can see i have mountains snowflakes and i try to do a little um, northern lights sky so we are going to need a piece of paper from your watercolor pad okay so we are going to have our paper up and down so you want it up and down like this instead of sideways. And I have found that for this drawing, to make sure we have enough space, it is best to start with the head of the llama. And I'm gonna start it somewhere around here. I'm just going to draw a circle for now. So just like we do with every drawing, we are simply roughing out those shapes first. So we are making sure that we're placing things in the right spot and that we're going to have enough room. After that, we can draw a rectangle shape. Llamas have a long neck, I mean, not as long as a giraffe, but slightly longer than a horse. So I am sketching, as you can see. I'm just drawing lightly because we always want to be able to erase. And I'm going to draw a large oval for the body. It's starting to take on a little bit of a llama shape. Rectangles again for the legs. So you'll see in my example, I have it kind of skating on this ice I've created. Your llama could be standing, it can be jumping, it's completely up to you. So if you want it to look like skating, we're going to do a rectangle leg like this, then a straight one. Another straight one. And a bent one. All right, so this is my roughed out llama shape. I am going to go refine that shape so that it actually looks like a llama now. I'm going to start with the head. So a llama is very fuzzy. It's got this thick fur to it. And I want to show that on my drawing. So I'm going to use bumps. You can either call this a bumpy line or just call them bumps. Some people call them scallops. So I'm literally just going and making bumps. My llama needs some ears, so I'm going to make two closely identical ears. Don't make them too big. I made the mistake of doing that once and it looked more like rabbit ears. That's pretty good. I'm going to continue with all of my bumps. And you can see that I either go right over the line or outside it a little bit. And I'm not even erasing right now. I'm just going for it. We 
we are going to be putting our packages on the back, so no need for bumps there. That's going to be just more flat. But we also need a nice fuzzy tail. Now that I've done that, I can take my eraser and go erase the parts of my original sketch that I do not need. So this is why it is so important to draw lightly. I can very easily erase because my lines were faint to begin with. All right, starting to look cuter. I'm going to also add some of that fur on the legs. I just put two bumps on each side because I put leg warmers to make my little festive llama. Okay. And of course our llama needs a face. So how you do the eyes is up to you. I just think these little closed eyes with the eyelashes are too cute. So that's what I did. But you can do yours open. It's completely up to you. So what I did was just two U shapes with some eyelashes. And then we are going to use Sort of a rounded triangle is what I would call that for the mouth part. So really, it's just the letter Y. It's just the black letter Y that I did for the nose slash mouth. And my llama has some rosy cheeks since it's winter. You need to include a saddle. So a saddle is just that simple U shape. And because you need two designs in the saddle, I'm going to put a couple more lines. So I have two designs. I have this scallop line and these triangles. All right. Now we're going to give our llama some clothes. You need to include two winter clothing items. So on my example, I have the leg warmers, a scarf, and a hat. So if you want to draw the scarf, we'll just do the ones that are on my example for this demonstration. I'm drawing the rectangle, another one for where it's knotted, and then you could do either one or two going down. Kind of like that. There's the beginning of my scarf. You can make that as cute as you would like it. I'll do the hat. So my hat's got the fuzz, kind of like Santa's hat. Just an N and then a little puff ball. You need to include two packages. So llamas have incredible strength. They can carry large amounts of weight on their back. So we are going to include little packages. So you need two packages. I've done one, two, three, four, because I can count my tree as a package. So obviously rectangles and boxes are the most common shape for these packages. I did mine kind of topsy-turvy like my llama was needing to balance them. 
There we go. And you'll want to add a ribbon to make these super cute. So I think um, a heart shape works for a ribbon most of the time. And then parallel lines to show the rest of it. And I need you to add three winter details. So what do I have here? I have a penguin. I have two snowflakes. And I could even count this tree as an additional detail. I am going to be putting a selection up for you of different ideas for details. I think I'm going to go with the Christmas bulb because that is really pretty. I'll do a snowflake. And I think I'll do the snow globe down here. You don't have to use the ones that I provided, but if you have trouble coming with coming up with ideas, absolutely use the ones I've given you. All right. So I've got my two winter clothing items. I've got at least two packages, which I stopped adding the ribbons on just for the sake of time. And I have one, two, three details. You will make a background either now or um, later when you're like painting. So I might want to make something that the llama is standing on, like I did the ice. Maybe yours is grass, it depends, or snow. And I put a mountain in the background. It's completely up to you what you do. Maybe I just want it to be snowing. You could decide that now or when you paint. When I've gotten this far, I'm going to take my fine point Sharpie. And I'm going to outline this. Remember, that means I'm literally just going over my pencil. What's great about Sharpies is that they do not bleed. So when I go to do my watercolor, the water is not going to make these Sharpies bleed. As you can see, I'm not doing this perfectly because I'm going to erase my pencil. So if I miss the line a little bit, it's no big deal. All right, time to erase. I am now ready to add the crayon portions for the resist. So crayons are waxy and the watercolor paint will not go on whatever parts we've added crayon. So I've kind of matched up some colors here, but I can easily see my crayon through it. So anywhere where I've added crayon, like this um, green headband for the penguin, the blue didn't go over that at all because it resists the watercolor. So we need our crayons.
and you are going to choose portions of this, maybe part of the design, to do the resist. So I think I'm going to start with part of the scarf. So I'm going to take my red violet and I'm going to put those lines on just like my example. You have to press kind of hard. You really want to be able to see that crayon. You want to get that wax on there. I could do polka dots. That would work. It is your Bala Lama. You can decide how to make it festive. So what I did was pretty much match the colors. You do not have to do that. So I'm going to get my brush out of my paints here. To activate this paint, I just take some water and I swirl it around. You can see that that paint is getting a little muddy. It's starting to come off of that oval. That's what I want. And I could go right over this crayon. And it will not be covered up by my paint. You can actually see how much it's resisting it while I'm painting. sliding right off of the crown. I still need to stay in the lines. If I would have outlined this with crayon, I wouldn't have to worry as much. So any parts where you have crayon, you don't really have to worry about where your paint's going as much as. I love this effect. You'll be able to see that crayon even more when this dries. The watercolors dry incredibly quickly. So you will do that for the entire thing. You'll see that I only have a couple parts that don't have paint on them on mine, which is um, the hat and the tip of the mountain because that's snow. If you cover that in white crayon, it's going to be super easy to paint the background. So the white crayon I won't be able to see, but it will resist any other paint to make sure those stay pure white. And that is your festive Fala Lama.